A Senate inquiry will soon investigate claims of serious mental and physical side effects among Australian military veterans given controversial anti-malarial drugs almost 20 years ago. Thousands of soldiers were given the drugs in a trial, most of them during their deployment in East Timor. A small number of veterans claim they continue to suffer from a range of debilitating symptoms from anxiety to psychosis. Michael Atkin reports. In the water, I feel calm and relaxed, and yeah, I enjoy it. When I'm out there, my thoughts sort of go away, and I just clear my mind, and I get to relax a bit more. Out in the ocean, Michael Bush feels his anxiety briefly wash away. On land, the Army veteran's life is a struggle. He's unable to work and has moved back in with his mum. Michael lives with me because he can't live on his own. He doesn't have a memory. He writes everything down in a book. He finds it difficult to cope with everyday life. Michael Bush believes an experimental anti-malarial drug he was given called tofenequin could have caused his severe problems. I can tell him now the medication isn't safe. Um, I've been diagnosed with um, PTSD, IBS and schizophrenia. I never had one of those before I was deployed. Almost 20 years ago, Michael Bush was deployed to Timor-Leste to protect the Timorese from bloody retribution after they voted to end Indonesian rule. A lot of people have been killed by the militia and um, yeah, we were sent there to sort of stop all this and uh, when we first got there it was, it was um, pretty bad, yeah. In Timor, the army was faced with a major malaria outbreak. The issue there was our people deployed on doxycycline, our number one uh, first line drug, but in the first five months of that deployment, about 63 soldiers came down with malaria. The solution was to trial two medications called tofenequin and methloquin given to thousands of troops. When I was first diagnosed with, uh, with depression, for example, that was immediately after my exposure to methloquin. Retired Army Major Stuart McCarthy was part of a tofenequin trial in Bougainville and was also given methloquin in Ethiopia. I have uh, chronic uh, depression and anxiety. I also have uh, some uh, balance problems uh, or rocking dizziness. I have hearing problems. Well, we've known that methloquin, ever since it was discovered, has this problem that people who take it have what we call neuropsychiatric side effects. The Turnbull government now accepts methloquine can cause 14 serious side effects, including suicide, schizophrenia and seizure. Defence argues troops consented to the trials after being told about methloquine's psychiatric side effects and an inquiry by the Inspector General of Defence found the trials were ethical and lawful. In retrospect, with what we know now, methylquine probably would not be the, a drug of choice for use in a in deployed military situation. Veterans want an upcoming Senate inquiry to determine if the medications could have caused lasting damage. It's not just a question of whether we agreed to be involved in a drug trial. It relates to uh, the question of informed consent. And so that question of informed consent is an absolutely key one. Despite its acceptance of side effects caused by one of the drugs, Defence maintains Tofenequin is not responsible for the health problems claimed by veterans like Michael Bush. There is no evidence that we know of that uh, links it to neuropsychiatric uh, conditions. Remington Nevin is a former US Army doctor based in Vermont who provides expert medical opinion about anti-malarial drugs. 
Hi, Dr. Nevin. How are you? Hi, uh, Mary. Hi, Michael. I'm, I'm well, thanks. Yourself? He believes Tofenequin is unsafe, and today he's giving advice to Michael and Mary Bush. Can the symptoms of a brain injury from taking Tofenequin be mistaken for PTSD? It's certainly very plausible that uh, Australian veterans who were taking these drugs uh, in East Timor uh, during these trials could be mistakenly diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder when what, in fact, they're suffering from uh, is poisoning by mefloquine or tofenequin. Dr Nevin argues there is evidence tofenequin has dangerous side effects. In uh, recent uh, tests conducted at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, tofenequin was shown to be more neurotoxic than mefloquine. There's every evidence based on published studies that tofenequin shares the same liability to uh, these neurotoxic effects. I certainly would take tofenequin because of its great safety profile and because of its ease of use. Hey Sean, how's it going? Not today. Professor James McCarthy leads a tropical medicine research group that specialises in drug development for malaria. He rejects Dr Nevin's claims, citing the recent finding of the US Food and Drug Administration that despite having some concerns, tofenequin is safe. We know that tofenequin has been given to more than 4,000 people and the side effects have, have been extremely rare outside of people who have pre-existing mental health conditions. He believes tofenequin could save many lives and should be approved for use in the US and Australia. It's going to provide new opportunities for control of Plasmodium vivax infection, which is the major parasite that causes disease across the Pacific, in places such as Papua New Guinea, the Solomon Islands, across Indonesia. However, pharmaceutical company GlaxoSmithKline has received reports of possible long-term central nervous system effects from Australian soldiers. The company told US authorities that 18 soldiers had reported anger outbursts, confusional state, hallucinations, and a role for tofenequin cannot be excluded. I think it's important for the Australian military to conduct universal screening of uh, these study subjects for a history of symptomatic exposure during their use of these drugs. Substantiating a link between Mefloquine. Stuart McCarthy has used freedom of information to discover evidence of the harmful side effects reported to the medicines regulator, the TGA. This is a series of adverse event reports which show um, not only things like um, depression, anxiety, but even uh, quite explicitly brain injury and in a number of cases completed suicides in addition to attempted suicides. Michael Bush believes tofenequin has made him suicidal. I've had to go to hospital, I think it's three times now, for um, attempting suicide. So, um, yeah, it's not a good drug. It makes you feel real depressed. The Defence Department declined 7.30's interview request, saying it is participating in the Senate inquiry and it would be inappropriate to comment while it's underway. You can fish through here. Oh, can you? Oh. Michael Bush hopes the inquiry will give him the answers he desperately needs. Well, for what they've done to my health and other people that have taken it, you can, you can never buy that back. Um, destroyed my life.